This is a house I have been building for the past two years. And I have gone through many challenges and difficulties just to be able to call this place my home in a few months. I think I can officially say that the dry season has finally started. Oh boy, I have missed these views, this feeling in the mornings of just having this beautiful and amazing view right over there in the volcano. This is the best. This is the best! Never underestimate the power of a walk in the morning. Dude, I feel like I'm ready for a new chapter. I'm ready for a new adventure. I feel I'm ready just to build that house in three days. It's not gonna be possible, but I feel I'm ready for it. You know, you know what I'm saying. So far, I would say that the biggest problem we have faced when building this house has been the blueprints. There is almost no detail in there, and every time I'm gonna jump into a new phase of the construction, I have to design everything on my own, because the measurements, there are no measurements in the blueprints. Uh, it's just so complicated to read. I just prefer to do it my own way, which I can understand it, and I have the measurements, everything right there. See you on the end, baby. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to make sure that we have these little pieces in the right position. These are the ones that are gonna connect the top to the bottom with the framing pieces. We need them because we cannot go just straight into the six inches channel because that's gonna look bad and it's not gonna have enough support. So we have to go like this in order to make this thing right. up there with the wind it's terrifying but it's all the things that we have to do to build a house but we just got two of the little framing pieces into place now we need to continue working building our way up right there to that little spot in the top of the house that is actually probably 10 meters over there because I think the total is around 12 to 15 meters that thing is tall that thing is really tall
Welding up there is twice as challenging as welding something in the ground. You need to be holding yourself with one hand and with the other, just try to weld. But we got it. That one is ready. No, I just need to start working on the ones that are gonna come vertical. Those are the studs for the walls. And I need to start framing the windows for these top over here. I'll have two windows over here and then that side is gonna be just all glass. Those are not gonna be windows, it's just gonna be glass. It's gonna sit there, it's gonna stay there. I cannot open that one. Hey, good girl. It's time. You know what time it is, right? Hey, good morning. How you doing? You okay? Come over here. Can I have a kiss? Hey, come on. Come on. Give me a kiss. No? Kiss. It's time to pass the cow, to pass Mumu, to her next house. Oh. Her next house. She has been in this section of the land that we made for her, eating grass for over the three weeks now and the grass is almost over, it's almost empty, she is eating a lot. But one of the things that we did once we made this fence was that we split it in half, we were smart, this way we can just move her to the next piece of land right there and she's gonna have fresh and green grass to eat right away while this other piece over here is recovering, is regenerating and we just repeat that cycle over and over again hopefully that way she will never run out of grass she will just be eating and eating grass and growing up and one day she's gonna give us a little cattle and milk yeah, 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 yeah. He virtues out of his mind. <laughs> The best way to start the day is with a morning walk with the puppies. Say hi, Ted. And woo, woo, a cup of coffee. It's hard to walk the dogs, drink coffee, and record yourself at the same time. Some good stuff over here. We live in one of the most beautiful and amazing places in the entire region. The only problem is that all seasons have a downside. The dry season comes with the windy season, which is really strong. We uh, get wind gusts of around 50 to 60 miles an hour. We also get over 200 inches of rain in a single year. But once you learn how to live with all these extreme conditions, this place becomes into magic land. Rainbow! This is the first one! <sighs> Rainbow season is also here! This is excited! Raise your hands if you think that naps are one of the most re-energizing things that could ever exist because my hand is already up. It's right there with coffee. Those are the two secrets to have energy all the time to do things. I'm like a cat. I can take a nap anywhere, anytime and wake up just like, woo! Let's do something, boy!
What are you doing over there, Ted? Huh? I'm watching you. He is so respectful about the food. The food is right there in front of his eyes. Any other dog would just jump and eat it right away. But Teddy, he knows he has to wait a little bit so he can get his food. You. Good boy. That's a good boy. We have got the hay. During this season, finding hay sometimes gets very challenging. I have been trying to find hay for over one and a half weeks. We use the hay for the beds of the goats. We also give it to the cow and we use it for the chickens, and many other applications here in the farm. But during this time of the year, everybody is using hay for their animals because the grass is not growing fast enough to keep all the animals fed all the needs and then people just go crazy and buy tons of hay which leaves me without hay for my goats and the chickens but i was able to find some hay today which is amazing so i'm just gonna stack it up pile it up and save it for later oh, oh. Let's go! We got this, we got this! Come on, pups! This is the actual fun part, making the bed for the goats. There you go. Nice. That's it. Nice and fluffy. Camila, hey, hey. Are you okay? Oh, you! I'm gonna kill you! This is one of the things that we are always scared of. They fall asleep, and then when you see them from far away, you think like, oh my god, my goat is... But then when you come next to her, she's just sleeping. Don't do that. You don't do that, okay? Don't do it. Please. This is the best way to wake up. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's so chill. Good morning, Raj. How you doing, big boy? Oh, you are sleeping. Come on, bro. We gotta, we gotta start the day. Let's keep moving. What is this? How did we, did we end up with two? Oh, okay, these guys doesn't... Don't... They don't seem happy at all. I think Mumu had a sleepover last night and we didn't realize. And she invited many friends. Look at this.
Today it's the day. Today is Mother's Day, and I got a gift for somebody special. I got a gift for Dolly. She has been an amazing person to me during the last few years when I came here. She was like my mom in uh, this town where I live in right now. And I've got her something special. I got her a little and cute gift. I know she's gonna love it. I'm pretty sure she's gonna love it. We are back at the farm and we've got some work to do in the house. In my country, Mother's Day is celebrated on December the 8th. I know that in some other countries it is different. I know that in some other countries it's March something. But over here, it is December 8th and that's today. So I just wanted to wish and say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there in the world. You guys are absolutely the best. All of us are here thanks to you. So, love you so much. And a big and special shout out to my mom who still doesn't know after two and a half years that I do videos for the internet. So, mom, someday you will know and I hope you're proud of me. Love you so much. Now I need to start working on building some stairs for my house. That's gonna be the project today. And I got two guys over here we're gonna be helping me do this. So for these stairs, we all we have to think besides the looks and everything, we need to think in functionality and space distribution because this space of this house inside is not that big and I need to maximize every single square feet. So we need to think about a design that can provide us with the look and the functionality. So, Iberto says that we are ready. He says that he already built the stairs. Uh, he's kind of right. He's, he's got some, some steps up there. Uh, <laughs> but that's not the design that I want. So this thing is taking shape, check this out. We are doing first a base over here. Now we need to go with a long beam from that corner all the way up there to that beam, which is gonna be the end of the stairs. There is gonna be like a little platform or something right in this corner where the stairs are gonna reach to and then I'm gonna have like a little thing there where I can just step on and then just walk inside of the bedroom. We screw up. We screw it up. We have to take everything apart. You see that? We should have made an angle since the beginning in one side in order to make the stairs go perfectly and just take that turn to the left that we wanted to have. 
we didn't keep that in mind you know we ha we're gonna have to take almost everything apart and do it it all over again I am thinking on just going through my drawings and just double check all the measurements and make sure that all the angles and everything is right so we don't face this kind of problems in the future once we're placing the steps on the stairs Rainbow! This is the first one! Rainbow season is also here! This is excited! Wow, this is the first one that I can see this close. It's right there. It's literally 50 meters from here. This is awesome! Everything can be going bad, wrong. We messed it up with the stairs and many other things, but we got a rainbow. That makes everything work. That just compensates for all the bad things. <laughs> I have been working on designing the stairs for the last two hours. I even made a 3D model of it, or I'm still working on it. I'm making a 3D model of the stairs just to make sure that it is what I want. Um, and yes, it's taking more time than what I expected, but I will get there. By the way, I'm staying here in the bus today. I'm staying here tonight. Where's my cat? Oh, there is right here. It's just so hard for me from down there, all the way down there, pretty much inside of the jungle, to keep an eye on the farm, know that I am alone here at night. Um, if I am down there, it's not gonna be possible for me to hear anything. If something happens, I'm not gonna be able to hear it because I'm down there. But up here, I think I have, I have a bigger panorama and I can hear better because I'm here on top. But anyway, I love you guys. Love you guys so much. I love you too, Lucy. I love you too, Teddy. Hi. We love you guys so much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Ah, You're special. <laughs>